Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 27th, 2022. Holy cow, did we have some volatility yesterday after we found out that the FOMC is going to become more hawkish and looking to raise rates um, in March with more rates probably increasing along the way this year. And that sent the market into some wild gyrations. And as a matter of fact, right after the FOMC announcement, we popped up and rallied. The Dow was up over 500 points only to sell off and be down more than 300 points in just over an hour. So an 800 point swing in an hour's period of time. Talk about wild volatility. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, I want to mention the fact that futures continued the wild volatility overnight. After the market closed um, last night, we sold off in the futures more than 300 points, only to rally back to basically flat here at the open. And we're getting a mix of earnings this morning. Um, ahead of some big um, potential economic data that could really move us around and keep that volatility high. So let's take a look at the charts here. Notice that yesterday, um, kind of a dark cloud cover pattern in that chart but the good news here by the end of the day you'll notice that we held on to this price support um, by the close so we held in there it looks like we we tried to gap down a little bit here this morning but you can see futures are trying to catch a little bit of rally here in the pre-market trying to push back up but we do have to make note of all this price resistance above we have created a little bit of price resistance right through there now that could um, cause us some problems and if we get a rally going we're going to want to watch all of these price resistance levels for that potential of those entrenched bears and it really is going to depend on how we react to all of this data coming our way today if those bears were to be inspired what i would be watching carefully here is if we uh, fail below that level right there, we could really kind of expect that we would start pushing on down and maybe testing some of the lows of this week if those bears uh, become inspired. So keep an eye on those support resistance um, levels in the chart. Let's keep in mind that we are still in downtrend and we're really creating some technical damage in the chart. Notice that that 50 day moving average on the Dow uh, diving down here pretty sharply. And if we continue to, to linger down here, we're gonna create a major level of price resistance here in the chart with technical and price action that could challenge us moving forward. So keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at the SPY, very much the same thing where we short term um, internal show us um, oversold and that we should be um, expecting some kind of a relief rally. But that with this wild volatility, we can't rule out the possibility that we retest the overnight lows and futures um, this morning, today, depending on how we react to these data points. So if we start moving up, let's notice we've created a little bit of a price resistance level right in here, and it gets to be a very strong price resistance level right here. If we were to um, find bearish reason to uh, push on down, notice that we've got a little tiny bit of price support right in here in the chart. And that's not very flat line, but you can see what I'm talking about. And that possibility that we could come right on back down and test some of these lows in the market if those bears get moving to the downside. So we're going to have to stay on our toes and be very, very careful. And once again, technical damage being created here in that spy chart not quite as severe in the dow just yet but certainly an awful lot of upside resistance that we're going to have to deal with um, yet today then let's take a look at the nasdaq now nasdaq we had good reports from intel 
after the bell and that's indicated lower we had a good report from Tesla and that's indicated a little bit lower here this morning and I have mentioned this before it's going to be an interesting situation to see how these companies that have been so elevated in price and PE ratios if they can produce earnings enough to actually inspire more buying and what we're starting to see um, this quarter is a major mix of results so we have another big tech this afternoon with Apple reporting you can imagine there is a little bit of angst about that and um, uncertainty as we have seen in all of these other reports so don't be too surprised um, if the market kind of calms down a little bit after all of these morning reports and economic data and then we go into more of a choppy uh, price action session through the afternoon as we wait for that earnings event on Apple but let's take a look at here we have um, a nasty little downtrend in play and if we were to fail notice I've got a line right there that if we were to find reason for bearishness well and lose this support look to these next levels down here for that next level of price support and if we can get some rally going notice we've created some price resistance in this chart right it through here that's actually pretty darn strong so as these downtrends continue um, a lot of pressure a lot of anxiety here in the market big whipsaws can probably be expected today as well and then take note again that 50-day moving average dropping and we could turn into a major level of price resistance in this chart somewhere in a zone around in here as those averages come down and then let's take a look at our Russell our Russell is the weakest of the indexes um, IWM um, really struggling a lot here and as you can see not looking um, a super stellar here this morning even though we're trying to get a little bit of buying going on um, in the pre-market but notice we have created a little price resistance level right here if we can find reason for bullishness then we may test that up there um, I got to tell you um, uh, uh, running into a resistance level here that's nearly a year's worth of price action could be really challenging for the Russell and if we were to fail notice this area right in here if we were to fail this little bit of a price support um, in through here there really isn't much price support in this chart until we slide all the way down into here around the 163 164 area of the Russell so um, hold on guys this downtrend is pretty ugly and keeping in mind the technicals in here have already turned to be very negative 50 crossing down through the 200 day moving average creating that death cross let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX um, surprisingly although we were up at one point 500 points in the market notice that we didn't get a major relaxation in that VIX we came down here and tested this little price support right here in the chart and in that price support we bounced right off of it by the end of the day uh, pushing back up as that fear creeped back up in the market so closing the day up here around 31 handles we are still very elevated and this would suggest that we need to get a little bit of a relief rally but we want to pay attention to this upside trend and all of these support levels in the chart I got to tell you guys if we start sneaking above this area in here if we sneak up into the this area where we're 36 37 um, um, in fear that could actually change some of those algorithms of institutions and they start unloading stocks to avoid risk so watch that carefully if we were to continue to perk up I'm hoping that we get a little bit of relaxation here in this a little bit of calming in the market um, and hopefully some cooler heads um, as we move forward um, the next few days let's take a look at our T2122 now T2122 at the open yesterday was pretty darn high we pushed all the way up into here about 60 70 
um, in T2122. By about the time the FOMC came out, we were hovering right around here, just above the 50 area in the chart. And then that selling after the FOMC pushed us right back down. So we're down here in this area where we are close to that oversold condition or right in that oversold area of the market. So if the data today can provide us with some reason to inspire the bulls, we have that possibility that we, uh, we've we got a big open opportunity here to the, to the upside, if that were the case. However, remember we had that 300 point sell off in futures last night, and we have just recently this week retested futures lows during the day. So if we find reason for bearishness, then we have that opportunity that we certainly could swing on down into these extreme oversold conditions in that bearish, uh, excuse me, bullish reversal zone in the market. Let's take a look at our um, T2108. I gotta tell you, we tried to get a little bit going yesterday in T2108, but as you can see, ended up turning lower. We're getting close to breaking some of the support levels here in this price action of the chart, continuing in that downtrend. I have to tell you, these internals were a good early warning for this sell-off, and hopefully you've been paying attention to these videos and prepared for that, because all of this data in here was telling us that we had some trouble ahead. So. Um, keep a close eye on these if we can start to see some improvement, but we've got a lot of work here to do. If we look at T2107, T2107 continuing to make new lows here in the market, continuing to fall off losing support levels in the chart. Um, I don't know where this ends, but we've only got about 25% of our stocks above our 200 day moving average. So we are back in that extreme oversold condition, at least in that short term uh, look. And then that T2101, um, continued. We, we started to pull back just a little bit yesterday on that rally. And then in the selling that came in in the afternoon, we spiked on up. So we continue to have that bit of momentum in that downside move, the wild volatility um, continuing to stay very, very strong, punishing a lot of traders here that have been wildly speculating in the market. You can see breaking through that high right there would suggest that we need a little rest in the market that we need a little bit of bullishness or relief rally. But I have to tell you, with the volatility that we've seen, anything is possible. We could continue to spike up on that, so watch that closely. And then if we take a look at our economic calendar today, oh my goodness, we have a plate of data that could um, choke us all. Um, notice right in here, we've got durable goods orders this morning. That certainly is a market moving um, report. Now, durable goods, in the, at least in the Econo Day consensus, they're looking for that to improve. So watch for that. We're, they're actually expecting a pretty substantial increase in the GDP number today. Um, it makes me wonder if they've overestimated those. And if we happen to miss, that just creates more volatility um, in the market. And then, of course, jobless claims. We've been seeing jobless claims over the last couple of weeks creeping up. Although they've been seasonally adjusted and showing um, not so bad numbers in the seasonally, seasonally adjusted number, it actually is becoming wor uh, worrisome in the actual um, uh, claims numbers. So watch that closely. And then we're going to have pending home sales, petroleum status, and of course that Fed balance sheet later on today which, um, well, maybe we'll start paying attention to that and have an interest in how much debt the Fed continues to hold. Um, keep in mind as you plan forward, we got personal incomes and outlays, employment cost index, and consumer sentiment tomorrow. One of my favorite readings on how the consumers are actually feeling. So more volatility may be ahead. Um, and also keep in mind, after the bell today, we're going to hear from Apple. We know that behemoth has the potential to really move the market. Fingers crossed that they perform well on the day. Otherwise, it could get really ugly. Let's take a look at our, econ our earnings calendar today. Our earnings calendar is really, really busy. And guys, I don't have time to cover 
all of the potential earnings that we will see uh, throughout the day. But just know if you click that link below the title of the video, you'll be able to jump back to the morning blog and catch the full list. Um, we're going to hear from uh, Alaska Airlines. Looks like Alaska is getting a little bit of selling here this morning. We're going to hear from Altria, maybe a little tiny pop here on Altria here this morning. Um, I saw that uh, McDonald's missed on their report this morning they're looking a little bit on the bearish side here this morning a um, little bit of downside that's gonna put some pressure here maybe on the Dow we've got MasterCard reporting and Visa reporting today we're gonna hear from Hood um, today we've got some um, uh, TSCO tractor supply and we've got Valero energy in there we've got some um, there we go WDC we've got some um, technology um, other technology um, semiconductors and things in here today as well so we have a big mix of reports that could move us around quite a bit so kind of keep an eye on that a lot of things could be hopping and popping here on the day um, with that guys how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that if you guys could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up every time you, I post one of these videos and if you find them to be, to be helpful to be useful if you guys could do me a favor there as well click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment and then also please share these videos out there on your social feed it helps the channel to continue to grow I just want to th say thanks so much for that I do truly appreciate it um, let's um, take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up and let's keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact with the wild volatility that we have seen in this market there is truly a lot of danger to be paid attention here we have so many things moving around with big swings it's going to make it very very challenging um, overall so just be pretty darn careful as you move forward let's take a look here on some of these stocks that might be of interest now one of the things I saw yesterday is I saw uh, a little bit of bullishness coming into some of the defensive sector stocks even as the market was rallying we saw a little turn toward those defensive sector stocks now as the selling came in in the afternoon they they were affected by that so maybe keep an eye on some of these stocks that are resting pulling back trying to find a little bit of support you might find some love in here on like GIS uh, post Kellogg's um, things like that that um, have been running in trends and holding um, onto some support levels although they have pulled back recently so keep an eye on those charts um, you might also want to keep an eye on that energy sector energy has been really really strong and although we saw numbers yesterday in the petroleum status that show a possible weakening of of th those energy numbers we still have that russia ukraine thing creating lots and lots of turmoil um, over there um, pressuring and possibly keeping these oil prices up now we we have a double-edged sword here um, certainly oil prices continue to press that inflation um, gas pedal harder and as those oil prices continue to surge that may not be great for us overall in the economy but there are quite a few stocks in this sector looking good if you just with TC 2000 it's a real simple click to go over here I would avoid Valero today until we get past that earnings report but take a look at Devon Devon breaking out we've got MRO trying to break out Halliburton has been really really strong here recently so we've got a lot of the these energy stocks showing tremendous bullishness um, overall now the only other spider select sector that is really doing um, well in um, the market is um, um, 
this defensive sector, um, um, XLP, that's been holding up pretty well. We've been seeing some um, financials uh, perking back up, but oh my goodness, these have some challenges here ahead um, on those financials. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at a stock like Goldman Sachs, this might be one set up for a potential short. If you take a look at that chart rallying back up into price resistance, showing a little bit of trouble right in here, um, this certainly could roll over into a potential short. And I'm seeing that on several um, financial stocks out there so we'll want to watch those closely keep an eye on um, gold and silver um, interestingly enough gold and silver um, had tried to perk up they're pulling back right now but I do think it was interesting that we saw stocks like um, AUY still holding into some support areas in here some of the miners trying to hold up if fear continues to grow in the market we may actually start to see gold and silver catch a bid here now they've had a wild gyration here in this um, latest move this week but watch those closely as we approach some of these support levels if that fear continues to grow they might start coming back around keep an eye on philip morris philip morris ran up here into resistance Holding right in here, all the volatility in the market has certainly been pushing it around a bunch. But if you notice, there is a little bit of price support here. We're holding in this area. And if we can, then we have that opportunity to maybe move on higher in that chart. So, boy, I got to tell you, it's it's a tough, it's a tough market right now. Mondelez was one of those stocks, defensive sector stocks starting up yesterday, got caught up in the selling. Now looks like it could be a little bit lower. So much back and forth. I have to tell you guys, if you're not a very experienced trader, it might be a really good idea to just continue to set on the sidelines and protect that capital why we continue to gyrate. Let those institutions with all of the big money decide which direction we're going to go and then we can follow along. But um, it's pretty dangerous when we can swing 800 points in an hour on the Dow. So with that everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great results in your trading. Be really careful out there. We've got a lot of data coming our way today. Could be moving us around quite a bit. As a matter of fact, why I've been talking, um, the Dow has uh, turned negative again. We were positive when I started the video. Um, so in 20 minutes, we have turned substantially negative um, down 90 some points on some of the earnings results coming out so be very very careful um, watch and stay very focused to price action everyone have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning